part of way, Miss Richard, uh, dealing uh, with uh, expressions um, of dismay or disagreement with a number of. Okay, first things first. Expressions dealing with uh, dismay or disagreement. What exactly does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. This is how people of certain intelligence behave when they underestimate your intelligence, okay? This is typical of politicians, but more more so than often, you'll see this in a courtroom. Now, what this lady is going to do is use a bunch of $50 words that she does know the definition of. How do I know she doesn't know the definition of these words? Because I know the definition of these words, and if you put them together the way she did, it does not form a complete sentence. So, although they're big words, it's they're not making any sense put together, so it still counts as illiterate. But then she goes on by using a couple of buzzwords, and I hope that burns into the minds of the listeners, and that's what they take away. They're, thereby basically like pushing an emotional agenda. But anyway, I'll let you check it out. Entities um, ask unanimous consent uh, to introduce exclusive part away, Miss Richard, uh, dealing uh, with uh, expressions um, of dismay or disagreement with a number of entities um, ask unanimous consent uh, to introduce exclusive diamond silk crash Hillary Clinton's race baiting. She is not our slave master. Um, diamond silk criticized Michelle. You see the huge pause she took on the term race baiting. That's the only clear term you heard her use since she started talking. Taking exception with a number of entities, uh, e, uh, Diamond and Silk, uh, Crash Hillary Clinton's race baiting. She's not our slave master. Yeah, that's 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 what they think of you, folks. That's how much faith they have in your intelligence, folks. Obama, and then of course a message for Oprah asking Adams consent to put these in the record. Thank you. And I, I think that is clear that there is a First Amendment protection that you all deserve, as I deserve it, as the witnesses deserve it. So let me pose these questions. Uh, Ms. Um, Hardaway, uh, have you ever been paid by the Trump campaign? No. Watch this. We've never been paid by the Trump campaign. Um, you've never been paid by the Trump campaign. We have never been paid by the Trump campaign. Not five dollars, not a hundred dollars. We have never what about been a paid. How many times? See that right there is intimidation. That's a good intimidation technique to repeat a question over and over and over to the point where a person starts to feel intimidated or you know even pressured to adopt your point of view. You've never been paid by the Trump administration. No. So you've never been paid by the Trump administration. Are you sure you've never been paid by the Trump administration? And that's where she automatically lost credibility. She demonstrated futility when she tried to build up credibility by using those big words that really didn't form a sentence. Then she tried to come down on them and it backfired because they demonstrated more aggression and authority and more accuracy in their answers than she had in her question. So it backfired on her. And she's about to feel the effects of that now and respond to it emotionally. Check it out. Uh, Ms. Um, Hardaway, uh, have you ever been paid by the Trump campaign? No. We've never been paid by the Trump campaign. Um, you've never been paid by the Trump campaign. We have never been paid by the Trump campaign. Not five dollars, not a hundred dollars. We have never what about been a, paid. We have never been paid by the Trump campaign. Uh, let me ask a specific question. One thousand two hundred and seventy four dollars and ninety four cents. We have never thank you been paid. Ms. Hardaway, uh mine Okay, that 
That last question, $1,234.74, when she said, we have never been paid, at that time, uh, Representative Jackson cut her off. So if she wasn't in, interested in hearing the answer, why did she ask six and seven times? This is an attempt to confuse the witness or the person that she's asking the question to. She's trying to apply that pressure. And when it backfired and the pressure didn't work, she wanted to back out and save face. And that didn't even work. Because if that's the only question she has for the witness, then she could get the hell off the stand. If she only has one damn question, that's already been answered, right? So she pulls out and she goes to her next question. But her, but her ego's already been damaged. So check out what she, how she's going to respond to that. Understanding is that you received the now infamous email from Facebook, the email calling your space. Uh, page unsafe on April 8th, 2018? No. no, 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 no. That was not April the 8th. We received that on April the 5th, 2018. Now on April 11th, you appeared on the Ingram Angle on Fox News to discuss this matter. The host, Laura Ingram. Okay, I object to that. She stated that Diamond and Silk appeared on the Ingram Angle on Fox News. That is virtue signaling. Why couldn't she just say you appeared on a television show? You appeared on a news show. She had to be specific about it, virtue signaling to all the Democrats who are willing to listen to her old tired ass that this is the reason why we should um, harass her because she's down with Fox News. Just typical nonsense. And I'm really disappointed that people that like methods of communication and course of persuasion like this have been effective for so long. People should have caught on to this stuff by now. And stuff like this, like this hearing and our judicial system overall should no longer be be effective because all it really does is it preys on the lack of people's intelligence. But continue. I'm asked, did you get contacted by Facebook and has uh, this been reversed? That you've been contacted by Facebook? It was contacted. Now calling your space uh, page unsafe on April 8, 2018? No. no, 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 no. That was not April the 8th. We received that on April the 5th, 2018. Now on April 11th, you appeared on the Ingram Angle on Fox News to discuss this matter. The host, Laura Ingram, asked, did you get contacted by Facebook and has uh, this been reversed? That you've been contacted by Facebook? We was contacted via Twitter on April the 12th. Uh, you responded, we have not been in communication with Facebook. We've not been in contact. We've not spoken to anyone over the phone. Uh, That's so true. We hadn't been in contact with them. We haven't spoken to anyone over the phone. Right. They said it was in direct communications with us, and we had not been in direct but communication. But did you, on that show, say that you were not contacted? We were not contacted. We're not we was contacted on the 12th. We was contacted on the 12th via Twitter. All right. Um, so are you saying that you did not lie on that show, or you did lie? We did not lie on that show. We did that show on the 11th. We was contacted by Twitter on the 12th, by uh, Facebook on the 12th via Twitter. And when we looked in our verifies, there they were. Is it your testimony? Who else clearly understands what she said? We didn't lie. We did that show on the 11th. We were contacted by Facebook via Twitter on the 12th. Who else didn't understand that? Today, that as of April 11th, on Ms. Ingram's show and said that Mr. Zuckerberg had lied about trying to contact you, that Facebook never reached out to you or Ms. Richardson about this issue. They, Mark Zuckerberg said that they was in direct communication with us, that, like they had did spoken you, to us. Did you say they did not do that. Did you get information um, from Zuckerberg or Facebook by no. any means of communication? No. no. You just said you got it through Twitter. We got it through Twitter so on the 12th, on April the 12th. On that day. And now she's going to get smashed. Diamond is going to give her the business. And this is where she's going to be get triggered because her line of questioning is weak. It's pointless. And it's repetitive. It's redundant. And it's disrespectful. And now she's about to now she's about to hear hear it. And she's going to have the typical react, reaction or woman reaction. 
Oh, well, I know I'm not making any sense and I'm just in the way, but you should sit there and listen to me anyway. Get her, Diamond. With us. That, like they had did spoken you, to us. Did you say, they did not do that. Did you get information um, from Zuckerberg or Facebook by no. any means of communication? No. no. You just said you got it through Twitter. We got it through Twitter well, on the 12th, on God. April the 12th. And that's day. Hold on for a moment, Miss uh, Jackson. Don't try to mince my words. Let me explain to you this here. April the uh, 5th, 2018, they took and they deemed us unsafe to the community and told us it wasn't appealable. You got that was April the... April the... T now, she's going to pretend like she's getting mad because for whatever reason, but Diamond hasn't done anything disrespectful that I can see. See, this is what happens when you got a, a group of oversensitive people, you feel me? You can look at the, the Spanish chick in the background. The Spanish chick in the background is looking at her like, yo, this is so weak. This is pathetic, this line of questioning you're giving this woman. You have no point to make. You're lying in front of everybody and trying to virtue signal to get some support. And you're losing support in the process, as you'll, you all will see at the end of this video. Okay, so she's about to get mad. She cut Diamond off in the middle of giving the answer to the question that she asked. And I'll run it back to show that to you. To say this. We got it through Twitter on the 12th, on April the 12th. And that's the Hold on for a moment, Miss uh, Jackson. Don't try to mince my words. Let me explain to you this here. April the uh, 5th, 2018, they took and they deemed us unsafe to the community and told us it wasn't appealable. You got that was April the, April the 12th. Right away, is when I they, am the one asking questions. You're in a, a judicial committee hearing, and I respect you, and you're going to respect me. Now, my question is, have you gotten contact? Your question has already been answered, and now you're talking about respect, and she didn't do anything to respect you, and then you have the audacity to say, I'm, you're, I'm the one asking the questions as if the lady's a kid. She answered your questions, and you are obviously don't have any questions to ask, but watch this. Now she's going to try to pick a weaker target, and again, is going to instantly regret it. Facebook and Miss Richardson may want to answer it. Have you? No. Oh. All right. And you're saying under oath that they answered in unison. She couldn't have handled Diamond, so she tried to switch over to Silk, and S Diamond still answered. And Silk answered in the same way Diamond would have answered. So there's there it's a no win situation for her. A pointless congressional hearing. People are out here starving on the street. People still don't have lights in Puerto Rico, and they're having this hearing claiming that they're trying to demonize Donald Trump and Donald Trump supporters and they them damn selves aren't doing anything to help the world. And in fact, he's actually trying to do something to help the world and they're standing in the way of that on some moral high ground bullshit. So that really demonstrates that they have no moral high ground. A SJW is an oxymoron. A social justice warrior is, ne is neither just nor are they warriors, nor are they social. SJWs are a fucking oxymoron, but I'm going to run that back for you. Let's go. Wow. Well, right away, it's when I they am the one asking questions. You're in a, a judicial committee hearing, and I respect you, and you're going to respect me. Now, my question is, have you gotten contact from Facebook? And Ms. Richardson may want to answer it. Have you? No. Oh. All right. And you're saying under oath that you did not. And so the Twitter is not communicating. OK, so the women say no again for God knows how many umpteen time. Now she ups the stakes and tries to double down and saying, again, you're under oath. Intimidation. Confusion failed. Now she switched to intimidation. And that's going to fail because she's about to get chewed out by Diamond again. You're in a, a judicial committee hearing, and I respect you, and you're going to respect me. Now, my question is, 
have you gotten contact from Facebook? And Ms. Richardson may want to answer it. Have you? No. no. All right. And you're saying under oath that you did not. And so the Twitter is not communication. That the, is way you ask, the way you're asking that question is a little I, confusing. I no, you're asking I that question ask and you're missing question. words right here. Have you gotten any communication from Facebook? On April the 12th. And via what, Twitter. And what mode was that? That was via, via Twitter. Twitter. All right, so, and you got information. So your testimony that you did not is not is not truthful. That is truthful. Uh, let me move on to Professor Wallman. Uh, Time of the general lady is expired. Uh, Mr. That shit was a dismal failure. Everybody understood clearly. Everybody understood clearly. The suspension happened on the 5th. They didn't hear anything till the 12th. But in the process, on the 11th, they were at a show where they stated that they didn't hear anything from them. And the following day, they finally heard something. That's what they're saying. So they need to get you off the bench, Congresswoman, if you are not able to keep track of simple facts like that. If your mind is that disorganized and you're trying to railroad people, you know, to save face then they need to get you off the bench because a hearing is not supposed to be about you getting your way or, you know, things going the way you want them to go. A hearing is supposed to be to get to the bottom of an issue. And even though the evidence clearly demonstrates that the the issue is against you, you still sit up there and while you're under oath, state that the woman's testimony wasn't truthful totally disregarding the fact that the, the the time frame that's pathetic that's pathetic and disgusting and that's why our judicial system is a fucking uh garbage can fire dumpster fire that's why our judicial system is a goddamn dumpster fire because weirdos like this have no clue what they're doing we need fresh blood in our judicial system our judges need to be in their 30s uh, they need to be a, of a little bit more conservative nature. We don't need a bunch of fucking psychotic weirdos, you know, trying to make all the damn rules. Goddamn tyrants with no fucking common sense and shit. Uh, I asked that my introduction. All right, so, and you got it. And now she's about to kick, get kicked off the mic by White Daddy. And she's going to see just how much mother how useful she is. To anybody but herself. Information. So your testimony that you did not is not is not truthful. That is truthful. Uh, let me move on to Professor Wallman. And that's how they do you in court. Straight morons. That's how the judge will do you. You'll tell her exactly what happened. And she'll say, well, your testimony isn't truthful because I don't like it. That's just how it goes down. So for all you that have all this faith in the judicial system, we need to, um, how would you say it? Look it up, nigga. Uh, Time of the general lady is uh, Mr. Uh, I ask that my introduction did not, is not, is not truthful. That is truthful. Uh, let me move on to 